So when you're filling in the template for the service blueprint, you need to fill in these five different levels of uh, information. So first you need to fill in some physical evidence that are basically physical uh, objects that are relevant to your blueprint. Then the customer activity, which is corresponding to each of the uh, physical evidence. Then there's usually some on-stage contact uh, for some of them. Some of them might have some backstage contact and then uh, the support processes you also need to register. And this of course differs from whatever service uh, or system you are designing, but here we have an example of a handicap access at a concert. So I'll take uh, you through the first uh, column here where the physical evidence is the festival bracelet. Um, which uh, corresponds to the customer activity of arriving at gates for the concert. There they are greeted and they are, you know, handed over the bracelet. For that step there's really no backstage contact. And then the support process is the ticket register. So this is fairly um, simple once you start filling in the information and the service blueprint is really useful for many different purposes. You can use them for creating an overall understanding, be either to display it to someone or for your own benefit. Um, you can also use it to identify pain points or uh, opportunity areas. Uh, you can also use it to, you know, show others how your system works. And it's also a really useful tool in a workshop context where you might have either users or other participants filling it in and maybe identifying other items in the blueprint that you might not have put in there as the designer. So that's how this is optimally used.